Greetings, portfolio nerds. I'm Mr. Specht. And I'm Miss French. And summer's almost over. Yeah. Summer is almost over. And the good part, what's the good part about that? If summer's almost over and... It won't be as hot outside. Okay. I was kind of leaning towards more of the school aspect. Oh. Well, I guess we gotta go back to school, huh? Yes, the, the, that's not the exciting part, but the exciting part is that we get to see our students. We do get to see our students. We're very excited to see our students. We're excited to see the cool ones. But, yes. But then again, our class is full of cool ones. Because they took our class. What's cooler than that? So they're all the cool ones. Um, but you might remember that uh, at the beginning of summer we made a video of all the different movies we were anticipating. And anticipation is the process of being excited for something. Oh, is that our word today? That's our word for today. Anticipation. anticipation. Should we sing? I'm going to put it, is there a song for anticipation? Anticipation. When it comes to movies, you and I both tend to get excited. And yeah. sometimes, our excitement pays off, doesn't it? It does. And sometimes, not so much. I was really excited to see Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Guess what? It wasn't so great. It wasn't Gone with the Wind. <laughs> it means it was... It was humorous, but I think it was meant to be kind of humorous, but maybe not as humorous as I took it because I laughed the entire movie. Even when like they were hunt when when the president was hunting vampires. Now let's just say Mr. Speck doesn't necessarily like Abraham Lincoln in fictional sense. He freaks me out a little either. bit. There's a vinylmation of Abraham Lincoln that completely freaks him out. I should see if I can now. post that in this video. Completely freaks Ready? Him out. If I can post it, it's gonna be right here. giant mole right here and he's got like the bottom beard I like the beard because as you know I'm a big fan of beards in general did Some you know I'm, weird thing did you know I'm a fan of beards I did not did you see any movies this summer with people with beards yes I did that also was not like as good as you wanted it to be yes I did Say I what? saw <laughs> I saw Snow White and the Huntsman which you did talk about in our last video I did talk about in our last video because we talked about how Chris Hemsworth's blah 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 blah. Mr. Fabulous here. Who has a beard? Who has an awesome beard? He I mean, does have that. a beard. He does not have a beard in Snow White and Huntsman. He has a Thor beard here. He doesn't have a beard in Snow White and Huntsman. He does not. However, the dwarves had beards. Some of the dwarves See, had beards. See, the segue still works. Yes. So Snow White. The world they created for Snow White was awesome. The the dark forest was awesome. The where the dwarves lived, awesome. Um, all of that, the scenery, everything, fabulous. Dwarves were cool. You really loved them. Great. The huntsman, he was great. The evil queen, she was great. Snow White, not, not so, so great. And what's the name of that actress? Kristen name? Stewart plays Snow White. You know. I've never heard someone say. And, and sure, gave I'm, a great here, performance. I'm not saying that she, she's an awful actress, but I've not heard anyone ever come to me. I'm going to go ahead and say she's not a great actress. <laughs> I've never heard anyone I've seen come a lot of Kristen Stewart movies recently because I don't know if you know this, but she plays Bella in Twilight. The what? She plays. <laughs> she plays Bella in all the Twilight movies. What's Twilight? She doesn't got many very very many faces. No, she has one face. Like. Yeah, she doesn't smile. She's not happy. Her emo face. Yeah, she has a very emo face, and she keeps that on the entire time. So. We'll call it the Kristen Stewart face. It's the Kristen Stewart. Can we call Stewart. people out in class if they have a Kristen Stewart I face? I think we can. Like if you, like when we, okay, so we'll go through a project, and we'll be all pumped up, as we always are with yes. every project we, we do. We get very excited. Like, oh, we're so excited. Who's ready? And when those are, those few I'll kids in class. I'll have to go to the bathroom so I don't pee my pants. True. Uh, when there are those, those few kids in class that are like... Staring at us. Like staring at us with that Kristen Stewart face. Can we call them out and say, that's a Kristen Stewart face. I like it. Stop it. So if you do that, if you do Get not excited. come to class, if you do not pretend to be excited at least, I'll take pretend. I can deal with that because that would show a level of performance that is more than Kristen Stewart. That is true. Because she can't pretend she excitement. She does not pretend excitement. Her, this is her excitement. 
not very excited. No. So get excited about art. I love how we brought it back to art. That was good stuff. Yeah. So I, you I see any movie you like this summer? Okay, so let's let's move up a grade. Okay. Okay. To the movies that we enjoyed. Okay. They don't have to be the ones we loved, but the ones okay. we enjoyed. I did enjoy Spider Man. Okay, I didn't see Spider Man. Okay. The amazing Spider Man. Okay. Amazing strong word to use. It okay. is. It um, really thinks you think it's gonna be up here, way up here above yeah, the screen. No, See, it I was, can't reach above the screen. I oh, thought look, it was gonna be up here. It was probably here's here's the other Spider Man movie. It was probably just a little bit below the old Spider Man's. Um, and I don't mean that in a negative way. Um, I enjoyed a lot of aspects of the movie. I think it's one of those movies that like if there's a sequel, it'll probably be a lot better than the first movie. Um, but it wasn't a bad movie. It was fun to see. Um, it's it's hard when you see a movie and you've already seen another movie based off the same concept, because then you're constantly going, well, they did this better in this movie, or they did this better in this movie, you know, and you're switching that stuff up. But, you know, spoiler alert, Uncle Ben died again. Poor man can't see How many times do you have to see his Uncle Ben die? That's just sad. I, don't, I mean, they could have just, I wish they almost did it off camera and just said, oh, by the way, Uncle Ben died. Uncle Ben died. He whispered something to me, he said, with great power comes great responsibility, and I took that to heart. Just FYI for the audience. Spider-Man just came out, took off the mask, and said that whole thing. Just FYI, that all happened off camera, so you know where we're at right now. And I'd be like, okay, I will now follow you as you web around the city. Which, by the way, in that movie, much better job webbing around the city. Do you like the web shooters? Web shooters is awesome. And here's Larry Beanbow. Hi, Dr. Beanbow. Hey. Dr. B. Did you see any movies this summer? Uh, yeah, one or two. Okay, now you have to review them because you're here. Oh, no, I did see Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Saw Spider-Man. That's actually what we were just talking about. Oh, I enjoyed that too. Excellent. Did you like the web shooters? Is what we were just talking about when you walked in. Oh, jeez. Yeah. No, no, oh, yeah. Pause. That's right. I'm trying to remember what Yeah, he actually had to develop web shooters. Yes. Because the one previous. He was actually shooting on his arm, but then the original Spider-Man, Spider he had actually, so it was actually a bit more like the original, Correct. which I appreciated. Correct. Along with the, his first girlfriend, which also... We're all about the originals. Who do you like more, Gwen Stacy or Mary Jane? Oh, uh, in the movie or the original? Either. All together combined. Well, Gwen was such a tragic, tragic figure. She died. How can you not like her? Well, she didn't die in the movies yet. Spoiler alert. Well, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Talked about it. So I'll start it. I'm what did you like about it? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> he, 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 went from, he went from, I, I liked it, I liked it. it okay. Wait a minute, I'm not, I'm not reflecting it was okay. Who's this for? Our kids. YouTube, chan <laughs> YouTube channel. Portfolio. Uh, this week. See you next week. Bye, Bye, Dr. Hello. B. See you later. Thanks for the visit. Yeah. We'll get him in more videos. I think Dr. B kind of summed it all up. He took, he took Spider-Man, squeezed him into a little nutshell, and then handed it to you for a present. So, I think you understand Spider-Man. Decent movie. Do you see any decent movies? I saw Rock of Ages, which I really did like. Rock of Ages, about the 80s rock music scene. Mm -hmm. Several cool things. One, all of the actors who you don't necessarily think of as musical actors, with the exception of Julianne Huff, all sang their own parts. Wow. So that was pretty awesome. I didn't even think about that when I was thinking about so, who was in that. That's what crazy. you have here is Tom Cruise, Alec Baldwin, Russell Brand, Catherine Zeta-Jones, all singing. Yeah. And for the most part, most of them are very good singers. Although Zeta, she, uh, I call her Zeta, by the way. Yes, because she was in another musical. She was in Chicago. She was in Chicago. Supr most surprising, Tom Cruise can belt it out. And he was awesome. I am not a Tom Cruise fan at all. And Tom Cruise was so very awesome as Stacey Jacks in Rock of Ages. That one doesn't surprise me so much that he can sing. Alan Baldwin, though, does he not sing? Not the best singer. He was, like, he talks like this. He was, the first song he sang, really not the best. It's an ensemble piece, not the best. Russell Brand, though, can sing. Can sing. That's kind of weird, because he's got a weird voice, too. 
Do a Russell Beck brand impression now. Cannot. Do it now. Can't. Horrible. I just built it up I, for I did the worst British accent ever. On but Russell Brand! If I ha spoke in a British accent, I would never shut up. You know, I can't, when he does comedy, I can't even understand half the stuff he's saying. But he, he talks, can't. but he talks kind of fun, so that's why I laugh. And because everybody else in the room is laughing. Oh, so. Is that, a, good way? Is that a way to do it? Am I just supposed to laugh because everybody does it? Don't do things just because other people do it. It just ends up getting you in trouble. Rock of Ages, two thumbs up. And you saw Brave, and I also saw Brave. Brave. And you know, I was really looking forward to it. It was good. It was good. It was not the best Pixar movie ever. Did it rock your world? I mean, you know, no. did, it, did it blow your mind? No. See, when I see a Pixar movie, I expect it to blow my mind. Generally, yes. You know? And uh, Brave was like, oh, okay. What I need to re-edit from the last movie is that she is not an Irish princess despite the red hair. She is Scottish. Oh, dang it. See, the red hair throws me off. The but red you're hair right. does throw you the, off. The kilt should have told us. The kilt should have told us. Dang. You know what, you know what I, I would say about Brave? There's a lot of fun things that I would have liked to have seen more of. The boys. The boys, definitely. They're, they're awesome. Fun. The dad. He and all was his great. Friends. King Fergus is hilarious. But, and this is not a spoiler, I don't think, the movie's not really about those characters. It's it really is not. about her and her Merida. mother. Merida. And her mother. And her mother, Queen Eleanor. Everybody else in the movie was fantastic. I just wanted to watch more of them. Mm -hmm. Still enjoyed the movie. I, I enjoyed the movie. It was definitely by far not my favorite. I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed Tangle. Or yeah, which is interesting. Three. Oh, so, so now that Disney owns Pixar, they, what they've done is they've kind of, a lot of their talent, they kind of go back and forth and trade them a little bit. But I actually watched Winnie the Pooh, which, did you see Winnie the Pooh, the new one? No. Okay, let me tell you something. Amazing. I'm not even kidding you right now. You see Winnie the Pooh, the new Winnie the Pooh, it felt like a Pixar movie. No yeah. joke. Like, all the way through, I was like, just story, the way the story was told, I'm like, this really feels Pixar-ish. Then there's Wreck-It Ralph. Coming out, which that okay, doesn't that, that doesn't that look like it's it a, looks it's a, very it's a Pixar. Pixar. Movie. That's what I it's want to say. It's Toy Story a video it game. Is, it is very Pixar. It's although where Pixar has something very unique, it almost looks more DreamWorks ish, um, um, Despicable Me ish. I was gonna say that based on just even the voice actors in it. In the Disney movies, um, I'm sorry, in the Pixar movies, I yeah. feel like sometimes the characters are reflective of the person voicing them. Correct. Absolutely. In some cases. Um, Tom Hanks and Woody, I think right. that's a very good... And well, um, Tim Allen and Buzz Lightyear, I think is a very good... And like you just said, looking at the difference, you know, like with Pixar movies, a lot of times they pick just interesting actors. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be any type of actor, just interesting. People they think would fit the character really well. So I think it's interesting that a lot of the Disney films are starting to feel very Pixar-ish. And some of the Pixar films are starting to involve princesses. Do you see the trade-off that's happening here? I do. This has one very big, big part that is a part of every, almost every, most Disney movies that we didn't have in Brave. Mm -hmm. She does not have a prince. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so Brave. So Brave is not my favorite Pixar movie. It's also not my least favorite Pixar movie.